What's up guys, I'm McKenzie, and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Kareem If you guys enjoyed the video today, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment the video sessions down below. But let's get into our, our way to Southampton in the Premier League. But we're 10 games into the season, we've got 27 points, we've only lost one game, we've won all other nines, we've scored the most, conceded the least. But if we look at the t league table, we see Liverpool there at 16th. They're doing shit for a second season in a row. And we look at the top seven, there's only two big teams in the top seven, which is of course Arsenal and Tottenham, because we're not going to say West Ham are a big team. Fuck them up. But if we look at the bottom of the table, because Chelsea, Man City are mid-table, we look at the bottom of the table, it's Manchester United. After 10 games, they've only won one game. They've only won one game after 10, 10 fucking games. They're on seven points. They are the worst team in the league at the moment, which is unbelievable. 16th is Liverpool. There's... <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand EA's logic. Tottenham at 10 points off top as well. But let's get into this game against Southampton now. And that's our team. Full strength team going into this game. Let's do it. Here we go. Southampton versus Arsenal. Um, Southampton versus yeah, we're at St. Mary's. We need to win again. We've won eight in a row. Hopefully we can extend that to nine today. We, sh we should be able to. It's Southampton. No disrespect to Southampton, but... Oh, fucking kill me! Koscielny, oh, the crossbar! Koscielny hit the fucking bar, wow. They've been at it right from the first... Fuck off, Royce! Holy shit! Mesut Ozil, find a... Oh, that's a fucking pathetic excuse for being a cunt. How do you manage to hit it that far fucking ahead of Aubameyang when I tell you to just chip it forward for him? I don't get this shit cunt game. And now for you guys, this is the first game of the episode. For me, this is the fifth episode in a row that I've recorded. So I've been putting up with it all fucking day. A bummy, you can't score. Why can't they hit it to the side of the keeper? I don't get it. A bummy. Oh, fuck off. If you haven't seen the last few episodes, then you won't understand why I'm so pissed off. But I have to stop playing after this episode because this is actually becoming a joke. The the fuck the amount of cuntiness in this shit game. Here we go, Ozil. Find Sanchez. Let Sanchez get caught by a slow shit defender. Yep, it's actually happening. In. Can I fucking kill myself now? Where's the fucking news? Holy shit! Alexis Sanchez. Cunt! You fucking cunt! Maybe I just need to calm down. Maybe that will help. Yeah, it'll totally fuck now. But maybe I should just calm down. Because it's clearly going to change the way the game plays. Ah, uh, here we go. Marco Royce. Let's see what Marco Royce can do. Yep, exciting. Aubameyang. Let's see what he can do. He can play it wide for Sanchez. Good save, keeper. Oh, good effort, Sanchez. That was nice. Now, Royce is going to find Sanchez, who's going to do a good job. Really good try there, Sanchez. I'll give you a sticker for at least trying, mate. Now, where the fuck is Jordi Elba? I, I don't know. I... Oh, would you fucking kill yourself? How was that gone in? I, 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 Jordi Elba, for starters, is a halfway. But this is near post, and Czech just goes, fuck that. Fuck winning the league. I'm a shit cunt. That's that's pretty much what he said. If you guys can't read, um, dumb cunt. That's that's what he signaled to me just then. Uh, what the fuck, Marco Royce? Good attempt, mate. Good fucking effort. Yes, Aubameyang. Come on, mate. Hit that in. Oh, I want a fucking neck. How do you miss? Mesut Ozil, save, save. Can't get the ball because no one decided to follow in. Yay! I fucking every 50-50 is falling for them. Every 50-50 header ends up falling to the feet of their players. Aubameyang to fucking Sanchez. Sanchez, get through. Oh, why do you have to fucking hurdle? Just run! Sanchez to Royce. Royce, just bury that. Oh, straight at Forster. Oh, my fucking god. Sanchez, learn to control it, you dumb cunt. Get the ball in. Aubameyang. Turn, you've got to score. Thank you, finally. One all. Back in. Oh my fucking suck my dick. Not only that, the ball hasn't been out all half, basically. It hasn't been out since about the 50th minute. And all my players are tied to shit. Ramsey! Yes! Aaron Ramsey! What a finish! It's the 87th minute hopeful winner. And what a stunner it is from Aaron Ramsey. Finally, we break through. 
and it's exactly what we needed. What a finish from out there. Top bins, 2-1, we're back in it. And this could extend our winning run to nine goal games now. I think 12 is the Premier League record, which is actually Arsenal's. It's like 12 or 13 or some shit. We want to beat that, all right? And we're trying to beat that. And that could help us go along to it. There we go. No, 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 no. Clear it. Fucking clear it. Just get it out. Don't worry about where it goes. Fucking clear it. There we go. That should be it. Thank you very much. And we've won. 2-1. Last minute winner, pretty much. And we've, um, can, we've extended our winning run. Just. Alright, second game of the episode. We're going to be a bit more calm than the last game. I'll admit I went over the top. I'm going to calm down. And we're playing Chelsea today to extend our winning run to 10 games in the league. Um, we got Ronaldo finally back from injury as well, which is amazing. He's finally not injured. He's on the bench today. Hopefully, he'll come on and make a difference. But he's been out for so fucking long. Yeah, the boys. Welcome to the Emirates welcome Stadium to against Chelsea. Game. Probably one of the hardest game in the season so far. Probably is the hardest game in the season. It's I expect the Chelsea to be my, my tight rivals. They're not. They're sitting in mid-table. So, <laughs> yeah, they're this could uh, this could be something something big to pick up another win. Oh no, Chelsea through, saved by Czech, playing against his old club again. Aubameyang, Pierre Emerick, Aubameyang, score his son. Yes, there we go, one 0 against Chelsea. That is what we needed to go ahead. Bami makes it 1-0, and we are back in the driving seat to make it 10 wins in a row. Bami Yang's through again, gonna get another goal, save! Xhaka, 2-0! Suck my wang! It's pretty much over. We're just gonna call it over. There's no way they're scoring two against us. We've conceded five all season, and that makes it 2-0. Granite Xhaka, thank you very much, mate. Bami Yang, the catalyst again, and it's 2-0 now. Finds someone, just turn and shoot! 3-0! Alexis Sanchez! Take that one, mate! It's 3-0, it is all over! And we are gonna extend our winning run even further. Mesut Ozil again getting another assist. Look at this finish over Sanchez. It's actually quite shit. Good to our palms and into the backhand head. Do we give a fuck? Do we fuck? It's 3-0. It's a chance to send through Aubameyang. It's a shit pass. He can still get there. Couture fucking seismic tosses Aubameyang all over the place. All right, Ronaldo's back from injury. And now he's back with a chance to score a free kick off the bar from Cristiano Ronaldo. Fuck, that was close. Ronaldo almost getting a goal on his comeback with his first touch. Ramsey through there. Oh, probably should have passed it off. Should have passed it through for Royce. But we're winning 3-0. We're going to continue to win 3-0. And we're going to pick up the three massive points here to extend our fucking record. Here we go. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's lost so much pace. EA need to fuck that off with the growth system. He's lost about eight pace. He's only 32, and he's already lost eight pace five months into the season. It's fucking ridiculous. EA need to change that bullshit. But here they go. Williams through. Nothing's going to happen. We're going to fin this game. 3-0 up. There we go. Clear it out. Referee's going to blow his whistle. 3-0 win. Thank you very much, Chelsea, you soft twats. Okay, final game of the episode. We're playing Fenerbahce. A win here will send us through probably top of the group. No, it will send us top of the group if we win here. Ian Nacho is up front. Ronaldo is back from injury in the starting 11. It's a second string team. Let's go beat Fenerbahce, please. All right, here we go. Fenerbahce, away from home. Let's go fuck them up. The ugly ogre Skirtle was there. We need a win to confirm that we're champions of the or lead group leaders, pretty much. But Ronaldo, back from injury. He slowed down a lot, but that doesn't mean anything. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a big name. It's fucking shit. Oh, why are you falling over Iannaccio? Ronaldo. Oh, what the fuck? Joel Campbell. Iannaccio. Oh, why? Why, dude? That's fucking ridiculous. Oh, yes, here we go. 1 0 there. What a good goal. Santi Gazzola gets his goal. And uh, we lead 1 0 against Fenerbahce. It's a good finish here. Ronaldo with a little bit of techers. And the brilliant small passing. Gazzola puts it in the back of the net. It's Ronaldo. He's through on goal. And he scored. How did he score that one? I don't know. The keepers had an absolute mare there. But Cristiano Ronaldo is back with a bang. His first start since his injury, and he scores, and somehow scores. I don't know how the fuck he's put that away, but it's a goal for Cristiano Ronaldo. Felicia Iannaccio, saved by the keeper. Zola, he's through, and he's missed. 
So now Joel Campbell to finish it off off the post. Wow. Okay. Chambers hit it back in to Coughlin. Back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's about to come off. Do you want to fucking play football, Coughlin? Holy shit. It's Ronaldo. Can he score from there? Off the bar again. Oh, fuck. Oh, good save, Petacek. It's out for another corner. And um, they're actually putting pressure on us. But if we can get the ball... If checking in the ball or our defenders can get the ball, if one of our players... Oh, he's a fucking useless. He's got space in front of him. Olivier Giroud, he's got some form of base. Can he finish it? Oh, just hit it straight at the keeper. Holy shit. That's great defending there. Foul called against Arsenal. Oh, what the fuck? How was that a red card? Oh, oh, oh my word. Wow, wow. Fuck you guys. Come on, yes, Marco Royce. Come on, send him through. There we go. John Terrell is going to get his goal to make it 3-0. He's going to walk it into the goal, and it's 3-0. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Open goal. I knew if I shot, I might actually miss it. So I decided to run it in. And it's now 3-0. And there we go. 3-0 win. We're into um, the knockout stages. And we're top of the group. So happy days. Our uh, winning run in the Premier League is still on 10 as well. So yeah, we're doing really fucking good. Wow. Liverpool are now 18th. And United still haven't even picked up a point this episode. But Liverpool are sitting 18th. Now, holy shit! Could you imagine if Liverpool and United both got relegated in the same season? It's not going to happen. Both of them will finish mid-table. But could you just imagine it? But that's where we're going to end the episode for today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, sure leave the like button, subscribe, and advice for video sessions down below. Tell me what you think is happening so far in the season. We are about a third of the way through the season, pretty much. Exciting times to be had ahead. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I will see. You later.